So I'm just going to run through reporting for Bream 2018. Um, I've got a model here, stage two model. It's actually quite a late stage two model, this one. It's quite detailed. Um, yeah, ideally, we would get involved a bit earlier in stage two and have a less detailed model, but more, more discussion earlier on. This is a later stage, but uh, that we got engaged for, for this particular example. Um, the model includes, I guess, items beyond the initial scope. So yeah, we've got our superstructure in there, but we've also got substructure. We've got some finishes in there and some external works. And uh, the reports for Bream will pull out the required parts of the model. I always think it's good practice in LCA to include everything. Um, although the BREAM reports require us to focus on superstructure and substructure, there's lots of opportunities for saving carbon in finishes as well. As you can see there, there's quite high impacts for finishes in this example. Um, so there might be things that we can also put forward uh, uh, to add value beyond, beyond BREAM and, and try and uh, get some, some environmental improvement. Um, so the BREAM report structure is this zip file here and uh, you can get it from Bream or we can send you a copy I think the latest version is 1.9 you want to unzip that I always try and work off an empty file um, so I'll delete this one because I think there might be some stuff in it and just start afresh uh, Bream spreadsheets a little bit temperamental shall we say um, so I start afresh each each time. I find that works works best. Um, so I just extract that, and it's just gone over there. And I'll just show you what's involved there. So what we need to do is download results files from eTool for all of these uh, different. Uh, items depending on 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 what stage we're at so we've got uh building services option one and cd that's concept stage design so your stage two analysis super substructure and hard landscaping your options there for concept design again concept design uh, baseline for when you're comparing against the benchmark concept design options there and then detailed design uh, your stage four analysis and your options there this tool here, the results submission tool, is the part that pulls all of these results together and summarizes uh, the performance, the, the overall results, and the, the number of credits that, that you can expect as well. Uh, so the process is to take our baseline design, and then we have, in, within this structure, I've made, um, clones of this base design and uh, made updates to those models so in this case I've replaced um, timber frames with the aluminium ones I've um, uh, uh, got CLT in the upper floors here I'm just going to do one more just quickly and I find it easier to clone the base design each time but uh, you don't necessarily have to. It depends on how the options you're looking at stack up. You might have an easy option of uh, uh, fly ash and then make a copy of that and do something else to the slab in addition to, to fly ash. But um, I find it easier, yeah, most of, the, most of the options that we tend to run are, are fairly separate and I find it easier just to make a copy of the base design and, and I have a log of the, the changes that have been made. So this one I'm looking at, superstructure, option four and I'm going to look at fly ash let's say 30% fly ash in upper floor slabs uh, 
Actually, I tell you what, I'm going to do 50% because it's a bit more significant. And we'll start there and maybe they can um, negotiate me down to, <laughs> to 30%. Um, so I'm going to make the update to this model. I could record it as a recommendation as well, but um, in the interest of time here, I don't, I'm not going to worry too much about that. But uh, uh, if you want to record it and have a log then uh, with an e-tool, then that's uh, a good way to go as well. So uh, upper floor slab, and I have. my uh, templates within here and uh, digging in a few levels here just to pull out my um, poured concrete here which is 694 meter cubed and I'm going to go back back up to the the model level and I'm going to add a fly ash template um, just got 40% in here actually so I might rename that 40% uh, uh, Tune in for another session where we look at 50% and 60%, uh, it's certainly possible to do, and we can um, can help you make templates to, to do that. <laughs> and I'm just going to rename it 40% so that that's clear. Okay, so I've got full four options now. I want to start um, downloading the results. I'm going to, um, whilst I'm here, download this one, which is option four. So I go reports, new report. Uh, Bream 2018, 15804 report. Uh, now I need to tell it what which option it is, what to name it, and we do that uh, here, so this is concept design superstructure option four. I'm going to download that, and it's going into here, and it needs to overwrite this. These are all blank files at the moment, all these option files. It needs to overwrite that and needs to maintain the same name. If it doesn't have the same name, it won't link into the kind of uh, summary master file here. So overwrite that one is option four. Save that. And I'm going to do the same for option three. Reports, new report, green report. And this one is superstructure concept design option three. Option three there, overwrite that. Option two.
overwrite option two. And then finally, option one. So option one generally is also the base design, certainly at, at concept stage at the first time that, that, that you, you've uh, run through this, I guess. Um, it also is the um, option one and two in substructure and hard landscaping um, file. But I'll, I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. But for the time being, I'm going to download it as option one. And I'm also going to download this same file as the baseline. Because for the baseline, you have to decide on which option you've gone for and um, and, and report against that as, as your baseline as well. Generally at stage two, then it's gonna be a struggle to get them to fully commit to any option. Um, well, it depends. it depends how early you've got involved and, and how engaged you are. Um, but in this case, yeah, we're, we're, it's a detailed LCA. We've come on a little bit late at stage two and um, the design team's interested in the results and taking them forward to stage stage three potentially, um, but they're sticking with the, the current baseline uh, business as usual, I guess, um, uh, specifications for now. So we're also gonna download option one as, as the baseline file. Um, so I will now open that file up. I'll just show you actually what's being downloaded into into these. Um, so you see, we have a big data dump basically. of uh, the file here, building reference in here. So this is the postcode that I had in as the, um, at the structure level. Actually what I should do once I get the details is in here, put the green reference number. Um, In here, so that feeds through there, and um, it should really be the Bream reference number, so your 000 5568, whatever it might be, um, and that, that will then also link through to, to this part, but uh, not too important for, for this demo. But yeah, you see the results here. We've got all the different basically materials that uh, are in this model, and we've got uh, a categorization, and we've got a big list of. Of, uh, of all their results. Along here, so overall quantities and uh, transport distances, uh, lots of all the different stages and all the different environmental indicators, whether it's ozone, uh, eco points, uh, CO2, resource division, etc. Big data dump, but this one here uh, summarizes it all.
So click enable content. Just hide this just to show you, but that's just reminding you yeah, to overwrite these files with the exact same name. Um, hide comment. So you just need to run through these drop downs quickly. So it's uh, an office in this example. Um, it's not, it's a brand new office, it's not a refurbished building. It was 5,000 meters squared, I think. It was E2 that's being used. We've done a superstructure appraisal. We've not yet done this hard uh, substructure and hard landscaping appraisal, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that later. So I'm going to put the SDEP now. And uh, we're not doing a services appraisal at this stage. Um, again, maybe a little bit later. Um, and it's E-Tool again. You just drop down. So we see this is now linking through. We have all the results here from all the different options. And what we need to do is just run through these and say, OK, option one is the kind of baseline that we've chosen. And these are things that we're still looking at. At the moment, we can't commit to it because we think it might be too expensive, or we're not sure if that's something like that would go into planning for CLT, maybe, or something major, or, um, or other. Uh, run through yes here. And this drop down here, yes, this, uh, this option one and the baseline are the same. And I go, yes, there. And results should read through. Let's just double check because we said we were doing hard landscaping, but we haven't actually done that yet. Um, so I might put no there. Um, should be some credit, ah, that's it, yeah. There's some more items at the bottom here to fill out, yeah. So um, this is for the Bream Assessor that would normally fill this out, but just to show you the credits, we go, Confirm the following are included. Yes, we've got this file. Yes, we have got um, all the other files. Um, yes, we followed this and it's being uploaded to Green Projects. And the date is uh, today's date, 6th of December. Um, There we go. So we've got four credits there total um, at the moment. Um, we've got 2.67 for running all of these recommendations, and we've got uh, two credits in this case for the benchmark. Quite a good performance against the benchmark. Um, typically, we're not seeing uh, that much. Um, this is an example model that I just pulled out of our library. So, um, uh, yeah, we're not seeing as many credits against the benchmark is that. One thing I've also noticed here is the frame. It doesn't look like there's any framing in here. Uh, it might all be included in the internal walls and upper floors, but that's something that I just want to double check in my model. Have we got some frames? And is it is it that it's um, not categorized as a frame? And uh, generally, our templates categorize everything to exactly match what um, is being asked for here, but uh, if they don't, if I've got a framing template in and it's not, I might need to just update the, the categorization. But maybe that I just haven't added any framing in. This looks like a frame here. 
Ah, but it's in a substructure, so it's not being pulled through. Ah, yeah, maybe it's a maybe it's a column in the basement or something. So that's fine. Um, if it was in superstructure, I'd want to make sure that it's categorized exactly. But I, th I think that's fine. Uh, let's just double check if there's any other framing. Yeah, walling. This is all part of the walling and door frames. Yeah, so it's referring more to you know structural frames and things like that. It's not actually any in the model, so that's fine. It's uh, uh, as expected. Okay, so I'd follow the same process for the substructure and hard landscaping options. And um, what's a little bit funny about the way this is set up is that you have a baseline substructure option, option one, and a baseline hard landscaping option, option two. Now we've got our baseline um, uh, in this model where we've included everything in the model anyway. So we've already got baseline substructure in that the substructure is already included in the model and we've already got um, our landscaping, our external works is included here. So this is essentially um, this, a file that needs to be downloaded for, for these two options as well. I had to then make a copy of that file, option three, uh, four, five, and six, and start making changes to the substructure of the heart landscaping. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Um, best of luck with it, and do drop us a line if you have any issues. Thanks a lot.